Hello my dear students this is your host for today's class Dr Sayed Bakar in this episode let us learn techniques in microbiology microbial techniques are the collection of techniques which are used and employed to culture the microorganism from different sources these techniques involve isolation and enumeration of microorganisms from liquid solid samples these techniques give us an idea how microbes can be cultured how they can be preserved how they can be in the environment how we can see the morphological characteristics of microorganism what is the suitable media used in the laboratory to culture the microorganism once you isolate microorganism from different sources you follow a different procedures in these procedures you have a set of uh, rules and regulation which you need to follow in order to isolate microorganism from a specific source overall microbial techniques are some of the critical and advanced techniques which needs to be employed in order to understand the well being and the disease causing microorganism around us studying microbial techniques is very much essential the first technique in this is pure culture isolation isolation of pure culture once you do serialization from different sample such as soil liquid sample etc you get different colonies here you can see in this video you can get different colonies these different colonies we need to segregate them in the form of a pure culture how do you do you you in take these different cultures and here in the second video you can see you will take these different cultures in a petri plate and from there you will try to purify the mixed culture in the form of pure culture even here you can see you will be using different uh, cultures in a petri plate and you will be inoculating in the fresh media in a pure form the second technique is streaking technique it is one of the essential and basic technique used in microbiological laboratory in order to isolate pure culture from the mixed population this technique is very popular it was used since the time of robert koch he was the person who introduced this technique of doing streaking on to the solid media from the suspension it is successive streaking procedure where the load of microorganism drastically reduces from dense to a single colony it is very simple and reliable aseptic technique which we can uh, used at a laboratory scale it doesn't require any sophisticated or high end instrument in order to do streaking process you can do streaking process on to the solid uh, agar media by using swab wooden stick plastic or metal sticks toothpicks inoculating loops etc by using these tools you try to dilute the sample and spread across the pre sterilized solid culture media once you streak the culture media you can see different colonies growing in the form of viable culturable colonies there are different types of streaking techniques and based on the streaking types we have categorized here four different types quadrant streaking which is one of the most popular streaking techniques used in research t streaking continuous streaking and radiant streaking the students who have attended our practical classes classes at ksoo might have physically experienced these types of streaking techniques let us jump on to the quadrant streaking techniques it is one of the most commonly used streaking techniques here the petri plate is divided into four different uh, streaking sectors and each sector is streaked accordingly so that the colonies gradually decreases and we will get 
a pure single colony which can be easily isolated easily identified for its morphological structure or for staining technique etc here in this picture you can see four different uh, sectors this is a sector 1 this is a sector 2 this is a sector 3 so 1 2 3 first you start streaking sector 1 which will be completely dense followed by sector 2 then followed by sector 3 then at the end we follow sector 4 here you can see the sector 1 area which is completely dense which drastically start reducing in the sector 2 area number 2 where you can see here the colonies are decreasing and the area number 3 the colonies are much more lesser compared to the area number 2 and 1 then followed by area number 4 where you can easily see the discrete single colonies you can see different colonies and this single colonies colony you can pick and go for staining techniques or go for DNA isolation etc. This becomes one of the most essential technique in microbiology. T streaking here the petriplate is divided into three parts. Here you can see the sector 1, sector 2 and sector 3. Similar to the cordon streaking the sector 1 will be much more denser followed by sector 2 which is lesser than sector 1 and sector 3. In this T streaking you can also streak three different types of microorganisms. Even T streaking becomes one of the most essential streaking techniques in microbiology. Continuous streaking. It is the most commonly used technique in the laboratory where you have a pure culture you just start from point A to point B you continuously streak as you see in this picture and you end with point B and incubate the petriplate. After the incubation you can see the growth in a continuous form. Along with this you have zigzag streaking, radiant streaking, continuous streaking which we just discussed. In the zigzag streaking you have a pointed colony, pointed edges while you streak. Whereas in radiant streaking, you first you streak a parallel lines of the inoculum, then at the last line, the fourth or fifth line, what you do, you start radiating the inoculum. Once you are done with the radiating, again you will radiate both vertically as well as horizontally. So what happens during this? The the inoculum load start reducing. Here you can see both vertical lines as well as horizontal lines they cross streak diagonally in order to reduce the inoculum load. The zigzag streaking as we discussed it is a continuous type of streaking with a pointed edges here. The zigzag pattern is followed in order to streak the pure culture. Next comes serial deletion. Serial deletion is the most basic and the essential foundation stone of microbiological techniques wherein you take any sample whether it is a soil sample, liquid sample or any sample that sample is serially diluted and this dilution is individually placed on to the nutrient agar. See my dear students if you have a soil sample or a liquid sample if you add that sample to a petri plate which is nothing but containing the media what happens there you can't get different colonies any colony which is having the potential to multiply faster it will completely conquer the petri plate you won't get different colonies hence in order to reduce the number of colonies we use serial dilution here as most of my students have practiced this technique in the laboratory you have the sample with you and you start diluting it this is 
10 to the power of minus 1 from here you transfer 1 ml to 10 to the power of minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 you can see the quantity or the concentration start decreasing and once you plate it on the nutrient agar you can see 10 to the power of minus 1 much completely cloudy or dense colonies here the colonies are bit segregated here it is lesser segregated here it is uniformly distributed here it also it is uniformly distributed as the concentration decreases it will be essential for us to study the different morphological characteristics of different microorganisms isolated as I said it's a most commonly used technique and it is also used to study the viable count once you start doing serialization once you complete the plating technique you incubate the petri plate at 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 36 hours so that you will get a visible viable colonies which can be counted and tabulated the number of colonies is then counted and this number should equal the number of viable bacterial cells in the original volume of the sample which was applied to the petri plate. Then comes plating technique. Plating technique is an essential aspect of microbiology as it is used to isolate and grow microorganisms for different experiments. The process involved spreading a small amount of sample or a suspension containing microorganism onto the solid medium which is then incubated un under the control conditions that promotes or supports the growth of microorganisms. There are several different plating techniques that can be used including streak plate, pore plate and spread plate. Streak plate we have already discussed. Let us see what is pore plate and spread plate. Streak plate you use inoculation loop. You dip this inoculation loop into the suspension or a sample. Then you start streaking which we have discussed earlier in this class. Pore plate. The pore plate method technique was first established in the laboratory of Robert Koch and it is still being practiced and one of the most suitable technique for isolating facultative microaerophilic and anaerobic microorganisms it is very simple uh, it doesn't require much sophisticated instrumentation it's easy and economical to isolate microorganism this technique is generally used to count viable microorganism in a given sample it is mostly used to enumerating bacteria, actinomycetes, moles, yeast. Here you can see the procedure. You have a petri plate. To this petri plate, you will add 1 ml of sus suspension or a sample. Then you add the nutrient supplement, which is nothing but an agar medium. Pour onto this petri plate containing the bacterial suspension and mix this properly and incubate. Here you can see the colonies after the incubation you can see the colonies above the agar surface and beneath the agar surface as well. And before performing pore plate you need to first perform serial deletion in order to reduce the microbial count this results in isolation of countable colonies in the range of 20 to 200. Here the pore plate you can do in two different uh, form. The first form is as we discussed by adding the sample to the empty petri plate, sterile empty petri plate and pouring the media or else you can mix the sample in the agar medium and pour onto the petri plate spread plate spread plate is one of the widely used culture techniques in microbiological laboratory it is very easy and simple to perform 
and is suitable for aerobic facultative aerobic microorganism it is easy doesn't require any sophisticated high end instruments and it is economically economical method which just requires sample and a growth media here you can see the procedure the sample 0.1 to 0.2 ml of sample is added onto the media which is onto the media which is already solidified whereas in the pour plate you add the suspension first whereas in the split plate you add the media first the media is ready the surface is ready then you add your sample this sample is spread using a glass rod and incubated to 24 to 36 hours after the incubation you can see different number of colonies growing which you can enumerate it the sample in the spread plate method must be liquid or in a suspension form before plating the samples are serially diluted as i said the volume is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 which is ideal to enumerate the microbial load and it can count the colonies between in the range of 20 to 300 colony forming unit per ml here you can see the difference between pour plate and spread plate the sample is added first then the media here the media is added first then the sample it is mixed incubated you can see colony above and below and here you can see colonies only growing on the surface so now we came to know different methods used to isolate pure culture different methods to isolate uh, microorganisms using serialization and using spread plate and pore plate now let us see the different preservation techniques used for microorganism microorganism once isolated they might be beneficial or they might be harmful in order to study their complete profiling whether it is molecular profiling whether it is metabolic profiling we in order to do this we need to preserve the microorganism to carry out sequential experiments so there are different types of methods after isolation which, which we follow these methods are standard and give appropriate uh, condition for microorganism to be stored the first method is refrigeration refrigeration is followed at 4 degrees celsius it is a short term storage process wherein the microorganism or a bacteria is stored in a refrigeration or refrigerator at 4 degrees celsius which results in suppression of its metabolic processes whereas certain microorganisms especially saccharophiles which also have the capacity to grow at 4 degrees celsius for example pseudomonas aeruginosa species freezing between minus 20 to 80 degrees celsius it is the long term storage technique where the microorganism is stored below 0 degrees celsius below 0 degree celsius majority of microorganism doesn't grow and they become metabolically inactive and they will be in an inactive state once they encounter the growth media they start multiplying once again lyophilization it is also called as freeze drying it is one of the long term storage and transportation technique the microorganisms are frozen and then subjected to vacuum allowing the water to sublimate directly from frozen state to a vapor leaving a dry powder which means you have a liquid media in this liquid media you have luxuriantly growing bacteria once you subject this test tube to lyophilization technique the lyophilization technique under lower temperature under the influence of vacuum uh, removes the entire water content and this the remaining content will become completely dry in the powder form cryopreservation it is one of the long term storage of microorganisms 
and it is very popular technique used in the research laboratory the microorganisms are pre preserved at extremely low temperature usually in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees celsius here you can see the different procedure followed in order to preserve the microorganism below 70 degrees celsius glycerol stock this is one of the most popular technique which we follow and is also one of the long term storage technique especially for bacteria and yeast yeast the microorganisms are mixed with a solution of containing glycerol and then it is frozen the glycerol protects the cell from ice crystal damaging during freezing technique the procedure is add 500 microliter of overnight culture which means you have a culture which is grown overnight and to this you will add 50% of glycerol glycerol stock in 2 ml of oil or screw top tube then it is placed at minus 80 degrees celsius and during this process the microbe will not uh, freeze but it will be in an active form once you culture it or supplement it again whenever required by providing it with a suitable media it starts growing the next is agar slants and plates technique this is one of the most easy and day to day practiced in microbiological laboratory where you have a pure culture this pure culture at different intervals of time is transferred into a fresh media so that it can be metabolically active and it can retrieve Liqu liquid nitrogen storage it is used for long term storage of cells it is very common it is very similar to cryo preservation here you can see you have a tank filled with liquid nitrogen and this tank inside this tank you place microorganism tube or slants or vials you can see the racks different racks are placed inside the liquid nitrogen desiccation desiccation is one of the technique which is used to preserve spore forming microorganism especially uh, there are different bacteria which produces spores and these microorganisms are preserved using desiccation method here microorganisms are dried to a low moisturizing content reducing the metabolic activity this method is suitable for bacteria that can produce spores you can see the bacteria loses is gets dehydrated loses its water content desiccation can be of different means by heating by salting freezing etc and the next technique is micro encapsulation encapsulation is one of the most popular technique especially by it it is followed by research community it protects the microorganism during storage and during the transportation from one place to other the microorganisms are encapsulated in small spheres or in a capsule form made of various metals providing protection against environmental stress or environmental condition here you can see this is a microorganism cell and a single layer across it it is called as monolayer single layer monolayer or multi uh, sorry multi wall layer polynuclear layer with different uh, microbes present in it matrix where different cells are inside a micro capsule so like this there are different methods used for preservation techniques so with this let me conclude this class in this class we have covered the syllabus especially for third semester bsc microbiology at ksu 
We have covered microbial techniques, pure culture isolation, streaking, serial dilution, plating techniques, cultivation, maintenance, preservation, pure cultures. If you have any doubt regarding these microbial techniques, you can contact us or you can comment to this video. I wish you very good luck. See you until the next class. Bye.